Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. I'm coming to y'all today with a voiceover video of this pretty burlap wreath that I made last year. I made this wreath before I started my YouTube channel, hence the voiceover. I will do my very best to explain through my words and pictures how I put this beauty together. Here goes. Here are the supplies that I gathered to make this wreath. One 24 inch work wreath. One and a half skeins of burlap runner, 18 inches by 15 feet. One green wrought iron circular piece and some floral wire. Two green and white pitberry garlands. Two cream burlap daisies a couple of small bunches of green and cream silky flowers, one bolt of burlap and white polka dotted wired ribbon, a wooden birdhouse, two wooden daisies, wire cutters, pipe cleaners, and a hot glue gun. The first thing that I did was to plug in my hot glue gun to use a little later. I'll get back to that. Then I attached the burlap to the wreath form. I worked my way around the form, starting on the outer ring, gathering and catching burlap in a looping fashion into each chenille tie, and then I transferred over to the inner ring and attached the burlap in the same manner. I do not measure my loops, I just eyeball them and go for it. I would estimate that each loop uses about 10 to 12 inches of burlap. So once I had the burlap attached to the form, I attached the pipberry garland into every outer ring's chenille tie by using the stem on the garland. It did take more than one pipberry garland. Now that those tasks were complete, I turned the wreath over and used the floral wire to attach the metal wrought iron piece to the wreath frame. I did my very best to center it. Next, I gathered up some pipe cleaners and hot glued them on to the back of the birdhouse and the wooden daisies. Those pipe cleaners would be what I used to attach those items to the wreath once the glue was dry. The bow was the next thing that I made. I'll put a link in the description to my craft bow tutorial. It was the first accent piece that I attached to the wreath. I used the pipe cleaner that I tied the bow shut with to attach it to the wreath form. As you see, I left the tails long and then gathered them together, made a loop, and snugged them down into one of the outer chenille ties. And then I made one more loop out of them and attached them into one of the chenille ties on the inner ring. I chevroned the ends so that they would look nice and finished. Now it was time to place all the accent pieces onto the wreath. I moved them around and arranged them until I liked how they looked. I then attached them all using the pipe cleaners that I'd glued onto them, and I tied the burlap Gerber daisies into the chenille ties on the wreath. I also took a bit of the polka dotted ribbon and attached it to the outer chenille tie to the left of the birdhouse. To finish, I placed the green and cream flowery stems here and there. I anchored everything down with hot glue. Here is the finished wreath. It will hang on the back of my front door until next fall. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Truly, this is one of my very favorite wreaths to date. Remember what I always like to say at the end of my blogs. In crafting, there are no mistakes, only unique creations. Until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.